There have been quite some questions about how to stop an AI agent from replying. For example, whenever a conversation with the AI agent is basically completed or mid conversation when an AI function has run its course and you want to send the user to another flow that is not including the AI agent itself. You can do this in two different ways with the new action stop agent. The first way to do this is by going using an advanced mode flow under the AI agent itself. So if we take a look, for example, under this registration agent, you can see that if we scroll down all the way to the left, we have advanced mode. And that means that before an AI agent replies, we send the flow towards the user where we can add several different kinds of logics before sending the actual AI agent reply. In order to stop the agent here, if we go towards that specific flow, so let's go towards this flow. And if we take a look inside, then you will see all the way at the end, we will have a stop AI agent. And you can go by inserting an action block, go towards AI actions, and then you will see the stop AI agent. That means that you can stop the AI agent when it's giving their latest response. That is step one. So that would be at the end of a conversation. But how can you do it inside of, for example, a function where you process the function and now you want to send the user to a different flow, but instead also want to stop the AI agent from replying. The way to do that is if we take a look at the flows available, if we go back, this is a function flow. So if we go towards the AI functions, you will see that we have a submit a ticket and then we have trigger workflow submit a ticket. If we go towards that specific flow, basically what we can do is we can build our AI function flow directly inside. And then at the end, when we processed all the data that we wanted to process, we can have the exact same action, AI actions and stop AI agent. This means that the AI agent will now not respond any further and you can send users to a different flow. For example, you could use the automation triggers like adding a certain tag or changing a custom field value that will get the users to a different flow. So that is also a possibility.